Hi, in this video, I want to be showing you 10 best AI content generators for creative content. I've been some Digital Man Institute, and let's get started. So the very first website I want to show you is called Alternative 2, and it has a lot of free crowdfunded open source or open source software that you can use as alternatives to paid software, right? So uh, if you don't have Adobe Photoshop, you can click on it and it will give you a whole bunch of free alternatives such as GIMP. If you don't have a Microsoft Office suit, can't pay for it, you can use LibreOffice. So it has a lot of, uh, it basically shows you free alternative to most paid paid software. And it's, it's a lifesaver, especially for students or those of you starting out and freelance work who can't afford to use the paid software, uh, I would highly recommend this software. And that's once again is called Alternative 2. The next software I'd like to talk to you about is called Hot Pot. And it's an AI art maker. And all you would have to do is you type in the text in here and it will generate the image for you over here. Now there is downsides to using this. Uh, the, one of the downsides is that if you don't pay for anything, it can take a while. This took me several minutes to create. At least to wait for it to load and and create, depending on what time of day you actually generate this. But it's a very interesting and fun tool. Uh, for me, I kept it simple: the sun and the moon, because I, I wanted to see uh, how how well it did, and it looks pretty pretty neat. Now, the other one, that, uh, the other aspect of this, which is probably more interesting, is it has an NFT generator. So it works the same way. All you have to do is just enter in a text, and it would generate the NFT for you. So this is this is those of you who are interested in creating NFTs or just random images that don't have the technical know-how, you can go ahead and just type in a text in here and let the AI create the art for you. So that's once again, that's hotpot.ai. The next tool I'd like to talk about is Writer. It's a, basically a content writer, um, content generator for written content. And for this, it also has like creative work. So you can use a you can use it to generate song lyrics. Let's say you like a song or you want a, a song about let's say um, I don't know friends that want to be more. <laughs> All right, and then you just click right for me. Whatever whatever you, your song idea is, you just click right for me and, and let the AI generate the song lyrics for you. And I'm going to let it run for a little bit in real time to let you get a feel for how long it, it takes to actually load. And there you go. It has the intro. All right? Remember, this, the song idea is friends that want to be more. And I want to be yours. I don't think I will ever be over you. I want you to be mine, the one that I want and love. Hook. I want you to be mine. You shouldn't have to wonder who, the one that I want and love. All right, and, and you can go go on. I don't want to bore you with my uh, wonderful, you know, singing here. But uh, you, you can you can go ahead and see like it, it, it has everything. It has the the intro, the hook, the verse, the pre-chorus and chorus. So this this is getting a lot better. When I first used it, it was it wasn't that great, but now they're definitely improving it. So the other aspect of this for creative work is a story plot. So you can go ahead and click your story plot idea in here. Um, a king is about to pass away, and and just leave it leave it open for that, and just click right for me. Oops, I forgot to clear this. Okay, we we'll just write it on top or bottom. All right, so written on the bottom. All right, so the, the story plot goes, the king had a tall order in front of him to govern a country that faced untold turmoil. With this in mind, he commands his advisor to find his possible successor, successor, his advisor's solution. Again, the king selects 16 people from the masses, and if they can figure out the answer to a question, they will uh, be the next in line to become king. When the, when the game begins, everyone interacts well until everyone clicks, I'm done. They all walk away and no one is left except for an eight-year-old girl who manages to solve the puzzle. All right, that's that's quite interesting, right? So you can you know, use this to maybe send to an out, outsourcer to maybe develop this a bit more. But it, all in all, for creative work, it's, it's not too bad for, once again, this is a writer for song lyrics and story. Now, the next one is for those who would like to, who listen to like a lot of music and who want to extract the vocals 
from any audio, right? So this this one is called la la la, uh, or if you type it in la 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 dot ai, right? And you would just upload the the file here, and it would help. This AI power tool would then extract the vocals from the song. All right. The next one is for those of you who love movies. So if you like movies and you want to find that movie clip but don't want to search for tons and tons of movies, you can just go ahead and type whatever line you want, and it will scour all the movie databases that it has within its database and, and search it for you. So for example, oh, and you can also select from um, different different countries. But I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, type in what are you talking about? All right. Okay, and it goes ahead <laughs> and finds finds a movie for you. And not only that, you can also download it if you like, right? Right here. So that's playphrase.me, and it's an AI, I guess, uh, movie clip finder when it comes to oh, quote quote finder. And the next one is for those of you who like to create movies, right, or videos, and you don't want to you know show your face and you don't want to really talk then this one's for you because this is a video platform creator Cynthia all right and it allows you to just create a uh, video using text right? so all you would do is you would type in whatever you want and it would go ahead and speak sync the words right so it would, it would sync the words speak it for you and then you would have a, a digital avatar here so in this case, uh, let me see. You you would just uh, sign up for this. The only the only issue with this is, and I, I can tell you right now, is that I'm not sure if you use this for YouTube, will it get monetized or not? Right? Because it's using a text to speech engine. The avatar should be no problem. It looks kind of realistic, but. Um, you know, it, it's it's worth a try, right? If you're if you you know maybe won't need to do like a advertising video and you don't want an actor, right? This will save you a lot of money because you don't have to hire an actor, uh, you don't have to worry about you know privacy rights because this is not a real person. All you have to do is make sure that the content is legit. It doesn't you know it it, it adheres to the terms of service of whatever platform you're publishing on, and uh, you know you make sure that you pick a. Uh, corresponding voice right? but all in all it's not too bad Cynthia next one is called cleanup dot pictures so what you do is it's for those who want to edit out certain things all you do is just kind of drag your your mouse cursor over and uh, it will eliminate those you know those uh, elements from the picture and here are some examples for you right here okay so let's say you want to I don't know, erase this thing here. And you wait for it. And it's done. Now some of the <laughs> as you can see some of it's kind of kind of wonky, but let's try something something like this. All right, maybe this one's better. All right, not too bad. I mean, obviously you can still kind of see that something was here, but it, it, it's not not too bad. I think the the more contrast and the more, I guess yeah, the more contrast and the less complicated the picture is, the easier it is for it to erase the image. Okay, so that is cleanup dot pictures. The next tool is for those who would like to edit out the background of a movie clip, uh, or so. This is called Run Runway, and you can easily remove the background using AI. You would just you know, click on what you want to keep in, and it will remove the background for you. You can always try it for free here. And the last AI tool is called Flow Frames. And basically what this tool does is it allows you to increase the video interpolation for your video to make it smoother. right? You could either do slow motion videos or you can speed it up, but it um, it's a powerful tool that uses AI to increase the frame frame rate, right? And that's called Flow Frames. 
So I hope these tools were helpful. All these AI tools were helpful for your content creation project. And if it was, could you please hit that like button as it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute and I'll see you in the next video.